Mr. Opitz, you voted in favor of increasing night flights. That's the record. But not only did you vote in favor of increasing night flights over this community, back in 2012, in a parliamentary committee on transport, you voted with the conservative uh, colleagues of yours who had the majority to prevent community input in cases of expansions of airports, which also means that there are additional runways, something that Heathrow is going through. And when you take a look at the experience of Heathrow, which was looking at adding a runway, their local community neighborhood MPs fought tooth and nail to prevent additional runways. You voted to not allow your community to have a voice during hearings. Who do you represent? The corporate interests of the airport or the electorate? The people of Markland Woods? That's the question here. And misrepresenting by saying that your predecessor, myself, was there for seven years. Well, I'm sorry, uh, five and a half of those years, there was a conservative government. And I introduced three pieces of legislation, three motions that wouldn't have frozen night flights. Their intent was to ban night flights. And that's the solution for Markland Woods in this community. It's not a freezing of what's not acceptable. It's stopping night flights. And if people think that it's impossible, absolutely it is possible. We have Hamilton Mountain Airport. They'd be happy to take those night flights. They're surrounded by farmland. And the, exempt, uh, the exemptions granted FedEx were strictly because it would make their operations more profitable. We could ship those night flights, let's ban them, and let's make sure that our community here, their quality of life is reinstated.